guys, it's Jessie V, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Hug a Bunch. Now, you guys know I love talking about creepy old TV shows and movies, and what's interesting about the Hug a Bunch is they used to be dolls, and then it was turned into a movie, and when people look back at everything they made, it was so creepy. Like, it was made for kids, but it really shouldn't have been. But before I get into that, I just want to let you guys know that we currently have an auction going on on our website. It is for the Barbie super talking mirror that I tested out on my vlog channel. It works perfectly, it lights up, it has creepy reflections, and all of the proceeds are going to our Yana Foundation, which is awesome. So if you guys would like to place a bid, I think there's only 24 hours left, so I will put a link to it down below in the description. If you win, we ship it out to you, and uh, yeah, the Barbie super talking mirror is waiting for someone to own it. Okay, let's get right into today's video talking about the origins of the Hug a Bunch. The Hug a Bunch line originally started as greeting card characters by Hallmark. People loved these little drawings so much that they turned them into a toy line in 1985. The Hug a Bunch dolls had plush bodies, posable arms and legs, and brushable hair. They all wore colorful outfits made of shimmery metallic fabrics, and the line also included smaller baby dolls called Huglets. The Huglets were babies that had just a tuft of hair on the top of their heads, and instead of clothes, they wore diapers with their names sewn onto the bum, and a line of Huglet toys were even available at Taco Bell with a kid's meal. Now, the first year that these dolls were released, they generated over $40 million in sales, so basically everybody had them. And this is the description that was on their boxes when you got them. The Hug a Bunch is a group with a very special mission in life, to hug and be hugged. They come from a magical place called Hug a Land that's filled with fun and is overflowing with heartwarming hugs. This happy little group's creed is promise to hug at least once a day. With each hug you get, give two away. So it all sounds magical and positive and amazing. And these dolls got so popular that the characters were soon found in books, on clothes, on lunch boxes, and eventually they were made into a movie, like I said. Here's the thing. I can't be the only one who looks at these dolls and gets super creeped out. Like I had an image of them on my computer screen while I was doing research and Ty walked into the room and he was like, what is that? It looks like it's staring into my soul. It's something about the eyes, I'm telling you. These dolls have a dead stare. And yes, I bought one to unbox on the vlog channel because I'm crazy. I just wanna see how eerie they are in person. What's funny is that as much as people like to cuddle them, this brand got so much feedback from people saying that the dolls were so ugly. Like the hallmark drawings of them had been so cute, but when they made them into dolls, something went wrong there. I kind of want to see if there's a commercial for them because I bet that's scary too. Okay, so let's talk about the film. So this film came out in 1985, and here's the plot description for the film. And the images I show are gonna be super pixelated, old, hard to see, because this movie's from the 80s, okay? It's, it's not HD. The movie revolves around a girl named Bridget, who is reluctant to see her aging grandmother off to a retirement community, as she's the only person in her family who knows the value of a hug. Bridget travels through her mirror to hug -a land where she meets the hug a bunch who solve any problem big or small with a warm loving hug. They tell her of the mysterious young berries which can be used to make her grandmother young but the evil queen Admira has a strange hold on the berries to keep herself young forever. Bridget and the hug a bunch undergo a dangerous journey to the land of shrugs to find the young berries and save her grandma with the magic of hugs. That is a mouthful, my goodness. At the time this was apparently the most expensive TV movie that was ever made. It was half live action, half puppetry, and people said it was made purely as nightmare fuel for children in order to make them buy a set of terrifying dolls. Now, there were some angry parents who complained about this film, saying that after their children watched it, they were afraid to look in the mirror. And I really don't blame these kids, because in the movie, a two-foot-tall bobble-headed doll thing comes through a girl's mirror and says, we have been watching you through the mirror for a long time, and then proceeds to basically 
kidnap the girl, drag her through the mirror into Huggaland. Like, some kids don't want to go there. We've been watching you through the mirror for a long time. I mean, what were these people thinking? This movie looks terrifying. And when I go online and I look at reviews for this movie from people who are now in their 30s or 40s, they said it scared them as kids. This one lady even said that she got one of these dolls for Christmas, and the moment she unboxed it and saw its face, she screamed and threw it across the room. <laughs> I wonder if that's gonna be me when I unbox this on the vlog channel. I'm kind of nervous. Anyways, so guys, comment down below if you've ever seen this movie, if you've ever owned these dolls, maybe your parent has owned it or seen the movie. Comment down below. I need to know because I did not know these things existed until recently, until I was doing research, but it just makes me want to like delve back into history and just see what shows were made. You know, there's so much I could talk about. And maybe comment down below what shows or old movies you want me to cover that freaked you out. Anyways, so guys, don't forget if you would like to bid on the Barbie Super Talking Mirror, I have linked it down below. But I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Hey guys, I am currently doing weekly auctions on the Jessie V website and this is the item for this week. You've seen me talk about it in a video. You've seen me unbox it and test it out on my vlog channel. And what's so amazing is that all proceeds go towards our YANA program. We really need funding to support our schools who have implemented this program. And what better way than to donate and also get this really cool item that I've been talking about in videos and you'll be able to see a countdown on our website and the winning bidder will be notified. So good luck and thank you once again for supporting everything I do and for supporting our YANA program.